to uh, Thursday edition of On the Town. Again, we're at uh, Serena's of Main Street. My guests are Melissa Missler with uh, the Tapestry Network and M3 Mall. And uh, her new friend, Phaedra Koenig, who's here from, I guess, Sacramento area, right? Yeah, I'm over in Lincoln. Well, welcome to uh, Nevada County. And well, how is, is this your first experience with Serena's? It is. It is. It's been wonderful. Delicious. It smelled great from the moment I walked in. Absolutely. Emily, so how are you doing? Wonderful. Thank you so much for having us back. And lunch was amazing, and I stuck with the salmon Caesar salad because it's awesome. So we've talked uh, many times about the Tapestry Network, and that's how you two ladies got together. And how long have you been part of Tapestry? I've been... Uh, affiliated with Tapestry now for about a year. Um, I moved to the Sacramento area uh, last June and started attending there. And then I was one of their speakers at their Unstoppable Conference, which is their annual big ladies conference. And so it's been wonderful. Okay. Well, tell us about you. You're uh, America's crisis coach. Now, that's a mouthful. And uh, you've been a crisis coach for, you said, 22 years? Yeah, so I am known in pop culture as America's Crisis Coach. I've had the pleasure to be recognized by Huffington Post, magazines, different things like that, and it really has helped launch my career. I deal in bold crisis management. I've got about 23 years of experience in psychology, uh, social work, mental health, family court services, and I bring all that to the table, and I help people go through the worst times of their lives. So you're, you're, uh, I've got a podcast, a little card in front of me says, Coming Out of the Fire, a little microphone with flames coming out of it. The podcast featuring badass everyday people who came through the fire You want to make their mess into a powerful message. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> how do you find folks and how, how do they find their way to you? You know, podcasting is a powerful medium. It's it's phenomenal, and the podcasting community is prolific, and everybody shares, and everybody says, hey, oh, my gosh, you need to go be with Phaedra. Oh, hey, you need to go be with this other show. So luckily, um, I have no shortage of people who are ready, willing, and able to be on the show who've been through some really traumatic experiences, but they've come through the fire, and they want to pay it forward. It helps it be more worthwhile, and it helps them heal to talk about what they did to get through the fire. So I find it fairly easy. I do a lot of speaking, and that generates a lot of interest, and people will come to me and say, hey, I know of someone, or I have a story. makes it great. Went through the fire myself number of years ago and uh, decided at that point to hook up with the Chamber of Commerce and shared my story with uh, a group of uh, members and uh, it, it was amazing um, how many people had similar or worse experiences than I had had so I can and this was almost 30 years ago so I can I can relate can you share some of the significant stories that uh, it really touched you you know the most significant pieces are that everybody's story is different and unique. I've had one guest who is an amazing author and publisher, and she had a family member murdered, and it happened when she was a small child, but then she ended up with this PTSD that surfaced as a young adult, and how she had to, you know, integrate that childhood and that adult life, and and how that was affecting her privately and professionally. That one was a very powerful story. Um, Interestingly enough, we're in an election year. I had somebody who came on and talked about the fact that she had ran for public office three times. And as you know, it can be dirty and grimy and cruel. Yeah. Shock. (laughs) Right? So she expressed what it was like to be harangued and bashed and blind and all that and then lose and what that meant for her, where it left her. That was actually surprisingly three times. Yes. And so how she came through that and what she's doing now. And what I can tell you is that the stories are all different, but the range of human emotion remains the same. And people resonate with that. And sometimes if you hear somebody who's gone through something maybe worse than you are currently or that you have, it humbles you in a way to where you say, if that person can go through that, I can go through anything. And that's part of what I'm doing with the talks that I'm doing, especially for Tapestry, is sharing just nuggets and and tools and tips of how you can manage everyday life without, you don't have to go through some traumatic experience. You can do it even if you're worrying about paying your bills, worrying about integrating your private and your professional life because a lot of people are hiding. They're showing up at their work, but they're really hiding something that's going on off-duty. 
and they don't know how to integrate the two. So my hope is to help people this coming Tuesday talk about that by showing them how they can break some of these patterns they have going on, and that will actually get them to the desired results that they want by breaking that pattern. Well, you've come through the fire yourself personally. I want to talk a little bit about that because, uh, you know, that uh, – <laughs> You, you know what you're talking about because you've, you've been there and done that, and then you're there right now. Uh, but I think, Dave, what we'll do in the interest of uh, continuity, we'll take our final commercial break. My guests are Phaedra Koenig and uh, Melissa Missler. Phaedra is going to be speaking at a uh, Tapestry Network um, get-together at the Foothills Event Center next Tuesday. That's the 9th of August. 5 o'clock for a social gathering, networking, and 5.30 to 7.30, and we'll talk about all the specifics when we come back. So please stay tuned for KCO News Talk 8.30 from Serenos at Main Street. This what a we'll back, everybody, to our final segment for this uh, taking care of, no, not taking care of business. It's what a wonderful world Thursday. We're here at uh, Serenos at Main Street, truly a wonderful world when you have lunch with Jerry and his staff. Uh, Phaedra Koenig and Melissa Mitzler are my guests, and uh, Phaedra kind of alluded to a situation that's uh, going on currently in your life, and, uh, you know, to what extent you'd like to share some of that and, you know, some of what you've been preaching for years um, is uh, something you need to pay attention to, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. So even though I had 22 years experience working with families, you know, going through the worst times of their lives, I had never really gone through anything that critical until about three and a half years ago. Um, actually, it spanned six years, but three and a half years ago, my husband um, was convicted of a crime, and um, it just blew our whole family out of the water, and he was sent to prison, and I had to start walking in that world, and it's been a very traumatic experience. It's been a game changer. It's been, you know, tough. I call it the collateral damage that happens to families. So when that happened for me, even though I had all these tools, you know, master's degree in psychology, all that, I kind of came to my own end, and a lot of people didn't know what to say or what to do. And I find that families who go through cancer or families who go through a foreclosure, they've had a similar situation. People don't know what to do, so they do nothing, or maybe they do or say the wrong thing. And you're left feeling a little bit intimidated and scared and alone. So I had to figure out a way out, and I did, and now I have actually leveled up, and I help professional athletes, I help celebrities and corporations going through scandals or going through, you know, very traumatic um, experiences and help them get back on track. So I, I just read further on the back of this, uh, this card that says you're accepting guest inquiries at lifecoachatchasta.com. So if anybody's out there with a story and they'd like to hook up with you on the podcast, uh, they just... Get, get in touch with you here and, um, and you guys decide if it's worth moving forward? Yeah, absolutely. You can catch my podcast on iTunes. It's called Coming Out of the Fire. You can also get it just on your computer at acpodcast.com. And if you love what you're hearing and it resonates with you, and especially if you have a story, yeah, reach out and send me a message. We'll connect. And if it's a great fit and it makes sense, I'll have you on the show. And then more personally, if you're looking for help, from someone like yourself, um, how does that whole process work? Yeah, just get in touch with me on my website. It's called americascrisiscoach.com. There's lots of ways to contact me. If you need someone to talk to, we usually start with just a half an hour complimentary conversation. Also, if you need someone to speak to your group, you know, I have a number of topics that I speak on, and we could talk about, you know, how I can impact, help your employees or help your, you know, your organization and help people manage with the everyday stuff that sometimes feels like it's too much to manage. I can help you get on track. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit about Tuesday, Melissa. First of all, great hookup you made here. Oh, I'm so absolutely honored that Phaedra is taking her time not only today to be on the radio show, but to come and join us on Tuesday. So we are so blessed to have her. And so in return, I want our entire community to be able to understand they are invited. Marty Caldwell, the owner of the Foothills Event Center, has opened her beautiful venue. And so we're at the most luxurious place in Nevada County to have this meeting with such a phenomenal speaker. So if you are out there and are hearing parts of this, please know, ladies, you are invited. Um, so it is at the Foothills Event Center, which is 400 Idaho, Maryland uh, Road and um, Grass Valley 95945, and we're going to start at 5 o'clock, and one of the main things 
to know is that every time we do this, not only is it a networking opportunity where businesswomen can come together, but you don't have to have your own business to be part of this. And then um, we also make sure that it's a fundraiser each time. And our nonprofit is PAG, which is the Performing Arts Guild. And how we're connected with them is M3 Queens. Teen Northern California, Amber Bussey is um, actually going to be presenting an over $2,000 check that night for the money that she's raised in the last several months with her platform and the M3 Queens um, pageant system. And so it's just going to be a really exciting night. And part of what M3 Queens is doing is really trying to make leaders out of these young ladies. So to have a 14-year-old young lady just about to enter her freshman year of high school come and present to these businesswomen about the nonprofit she chose and she's been raising funds for, I'm just absolutely so excited. Awesome venue, fabulous speaker, wonderful nonprofit, all coming together. So the only thing that's missing is the community. So I want to make sure that they know they're invited. You know, Amber's quite a story, and she has been part of the Performing Arts Guild. I had her on with her mom and one of her buddies, uh, I guess probably five or six months ago. <clears throat> what a poised young lady, and has been part of the theatrical community for a long time, and so... Um, she recognized something that was needed by those following her at the performing arts. I mean, what a, what a vision for a 14-year-old kid to have that kind of vision to give back for future generations coming through PAG. So 2100 bucks, you wrote? Um, I know we're at about 2100 and so we're hoping to raise just a little bit more for her on Tuesday so that she can present that check. So she has been with PAG since she was four because her older sister started there, and they need new microphones. And so that was the budget. She worked it all out. What do they need? And has been working tirelessly since then. But in addition to raising funds for PAG, she's been volunteering as an M3 Queens and is one of our top um, volunteers, and she did a lot of the raffles for the Save by Second Base. You know, so she's just extremely active in the community, and we're just thrilled to have her on Tuesday with Phaedra. And, again, a thank you to Marty at Foothills Event Center. So um, vendor tables are still available. Tickets right now are on sale until tomorrow, Friday night, at 5 p.m. for $15. That's our pre-purchase price, and it's just a little bit higher at the door. But we're just trying to get a food count, a handout count, a seat count. So the more people that can let us know, that would be great. And you can find us on Facebook. We are the Tapestry Network of Nevada County, and under events, you'll see our event for Tuesday with Phaedra's picture, and there's a little picture of Amber with her crown. So um, we'd just love to have you there. You know, Jerry and I were talking about the fair coming up next week, and, you know, with all the uh, ag mechanics and the, um, uh, the uh, kids that raise their animals. I know Dave and Tom at the station are reading all the letters that uh, kids are sending in with pictures of their animals. But these kids are so poised, and people like Amber and lots of other kids who are out there in the world give you a little sense of hope for the future in spite of what we're seeing all around uh, us in this, this whole political season. So it's, uh, it's great to hear. Um, I still can't believe that friend, of, that lady that you counseled ran for office three different times and lost all three times. Yeah, she ran for different offices, but she did lose three times, and each time I think was a little bit more traumatic and a little bit more grueling as far as the attacks that people sling at one another. So, um, okay, we got about three minutes left. So uh, uh, you have several books out, too. And uh, the one I really, uh, uh, well, Coming Out of the Fire is a podcast, not a book, but uh, Ten Habits to Develop While You're Reinventing Yourself. Yeah, that sounds pretty interesting. Had you come up, uh, give, give us a hint, some of those uh, are? Yeah, so that book is called In the Meantime. And, you know, there's a gap of time between knowing you want something different in your life and it coming into your life. And there's activities that you can do that can close that gap and make it come about faster. And one of them off the top of my head is really getting organized. And I help people go through their home kind of area by area and reduce yes because if you are more efficient in your home you're more efficient in your life and so we can talk about that another area is to um it sounds cliche but the whole gratitude thing and getting the habit of getting back to handwritten thank you notes you know having um, something that actually put pen to paper and actually have to think about somebody else put it in the mail yes yes 
Yeah, so I have about 10 different things that really worked for me um, and helped me get through a really critical time in my life after a big, brutal divorce. So that's where that book was born. I also have a children's series, and that series is about Daniel the Dinosaur, and it's to help families who are going through divorce, blending families, and sharing homes. And there's three different books. There's um, Two Homes for Daniel, there is uh, Two Sisters for Daniel, and Time Out for Meg. And Time Out for Meg is all about that step-parent, step-child relationship, the whole you're not my dad. And it really, they're children's books, but they teach adults how to interact and talk about these really difficult conversations with these beautiful characters. I'm very proud of them. And you can see all my books at PhaedraOnAmazon.com. They're available on Kindle and in print. So, again, you're going to be there talking for several hours and meeting and greeting. No? The oh. talk is 20 minutes. So we do, and then Amber will have five, and then we have networking for the businesses and time to eat. So, <laughs> got this big two hours. No. <laughs> so, ladies who have a business, bring business cards because we're going to give you great times to network. Area, so I am so excited to meet new people, find out what they do, find out ways to meet my needs because I've got things that I'd like to get done. So I can't wait to meet everybody there. Well, we look forward to it. You guys aren't invited. No guys on this one. I'm sorry, it's a ladies only. But any lady in Nevada County, Northern California, Reno is invited. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Thank you for coming up, uh, Phaedra. Uh, thanks to Jerry and his staff for taking good care of us. Thank you for listening. We'll see you tomorrow. And have a great day, everybody.